Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Um, I have gone ahead and started planning out some things about my fortress, which I'm going to show you right after I talk about what I actually brought with us on Embark. I realized I didn't really cover that in the last video, so now we're going to go take a look. Here you can see we have, it says our food stores are 200, which half that is just drink. If we actually go look at that, brought five units of cow meat, same for pig meat, chicken and turkey meat. It gave me the default of 20 prepared yak eye, which I personally would not have brought, but I decided to leave it in there. It also gave us 20 pond turtle. I went ahead and brought um, 5k fish and 5k lobster. Um, the usual plump helmet spawn. Well, these are seeds, so yeah, I brought 10 plump helmet seeds, 10 cave wheat seeds, 5 pigtail, 5 sweet pod seeds, and 5 rock nut seeds, which after I embarked, I realized that we might not have anywhere to plant these seeds. At least not until we get to the cavern layers. Due to the fact that when we embarked, it said there was ice and metals. And in metal layers, there's just rock, which you can only plant on soil type layers. So that might be an issue. So I'm going to try and dig down pretty fast early on if we can't find any place to plant plants. Because I know from experience, we can and will run out of food very early like before autumn but I did bring a healthy amount of plants oh wait no that's all um, alcohol okay I brought 20 plump helmets but we have a healthy amount of um, alcohol we got 20 wine units of wine 20 units of ale 20 units of beer and 40 units of rum um, and we have with us here's the food and such. Yeah, I brought um, the copper battle axe, four war hammers, and two picks. I think I mentioned that in the last video. Only clothes we brought with us is what is on the backs of our first seven dwarves. Uh, three leather, leather quivers, don't know why I brought those. Anvil, just in case. Hmm, I brought ten cow leather, just in case as well. And I replaced the uh, pigtail fiber cloth and thread with cheaper versions of them. Also brought 30 logs with us which I believe I won't let me look at them here but they're all mostly fungi wood and tower cap. And we got a piece of ice from digging two cave spider silk ropes bags and barrels for storing our things in, buckets, ash and wheelbarrow, and that should be it. Oh yeah, and a split and a crutch. But that is all we brought with us, um, but and, um, item wise, we have three turkey hens with us, the eggs should, or four turkey hens, sorry. I thought I only brought three, but when I looked on here we have four, so we have four. But we should be able to live off their eggs. I don't know how well, but we should be able to live off those somewhat. Also brought two dogs, male and female. Um, brought a cat, and it gave me a default of two horses, which they are of opposite gender. So if I can keep them alive long enough to get a past underground pasture going, we can breed horses. But seeing as though I may need to dig quite far down to get to a cavern layer and then we'll have to seal off the cavern layer from any fun that might be down there I'm not sure if they'll live long enough so we might be having horse hamburgers soon but anyways now on to what I have planned for my fortress setup okay so on this first on the surface layer we have our main entrance here and that will lead down into this first little area here which leads down into this area and I don't know if you can see my mouse or not but 
here will be the first bridge and then you'll be able to move up and down into this where the trade depot will be and then you can move through over to second bridge and move down into the um, barracks area which will be right here and then you'll be able to move down here and enter the main stairwell of the living area of my fortress and there'll be storage areas um, workshops, dining halls, bedrooms I haven't planned those up yet because I want to be able to build the dining halls and bedrooms at least in, into stone so I can smooth them out I don't know if you can smooth out ice I kind of doubt it but I'm going to test it soon I'm also going to test what you can make out of ice I'm pretty sure you can make at least statues so that means they're you can use them at masons you, can you make pots out of ice? Uh, okay, I really gotta find that out soon. But um, before I go off doing that, you can also see here. There's this one area. This is where I'll be setting up archer training, and I'll smooth out this um, wall right here in between it and where the trade depot is. So if they're training in there and some enemies manage to get into the trade depot, they'll just be able to start shooting right in there, and I can raise up these two drawbridges and they'll be trapped in there to free target practice and that stairwell will lead straight into the barracks and over here you can see this um, straight hall with channels on either side I plan on having those drop down about 10 Z levels and this will lead up to this entrance here which when I'm ready I'll dig it out and that will always be open so enemies will always be able to path in there but they'll be running into all the traps I've set up here and then you know if they dodge off the side they'll fall tensy levels and we can all laugh and watch the you know body parts go flying with as ten serrated blades start you know doing their thing against anyone who wants to mess with me so that all be fun Lots of fun. That, that might be my favorite part of this whole fortress, if anything, besides finding out what I can do with ice. Um, I think that's all I have planned out right now, because I want to see what's on this layer down here where I'm planning on putting bedrooms. If, if it's just ice, I'm going to keep digging down, and hopefully I reach stone before I reach caverns, which I suspect I will. It, I don't know how thick this ice is going to be. So, let's find out. Oh yeah, there's a crab over here. Tiny shelled ocean creature with many long legs. It has two large pincers on its front limbs. He's red and black eyes, which I think all crabs have that. No, I must capture him and put him in a a zoo. But I don't have any traps yet so I don't think that's gonna work out okay we're digging up through here these lines on the side here are just for marking where the bridges will be hopefully to dig here, through here pretty fast um reminds me I'm gonna set up a mason's workshop down here. Uh, sure, make it out of ice. I want to see what we can make out of ice. Mm. We may be able to make all this. That'd be interesting. Uh, millstones made out of ice. Um, everyone's furniture. Huh, this, this could be quite interesting. I'm gonna see what else we can make out of ice before going on to setting up the rest of my fortress as we dig through <sighs> okay it turns out I was mistaken you cannot make anything in a mason's workshop or a craft dwarf shop with ice 
I think I was thinking about things that you can just build straight out of this menu like supports you should be able to build these out yeah you can build these out of ice but not statues or anything else that would be cool to have made out of ice mm. let's see is there anything else here yeah I guess just buildings and anything straight from this menu here you could probably make out of ice a uh, paved road, maybe? Yeah, you can make paved roads out of ice. That probably wouldn't be a good idea, though. It'd be funny, but... Yeah, it looks like... We're not going to be able to do cool statues with ice. That's okay. We're just going to keep on digging. So leaves the question, though, can you smooth this? Oh my gosh, looks like you can. Oh, I might not have anyone activated on doing that. Okay. Oops. Yeah, they're, they can smooth ice out. That's So I guess I can make the bedrooms in the ice layers if we get down to where I plan on putting the bedrooms and there's no um, rock down there but I am also worried about all of our booze becoming frozen out here it's still liquid right now but I would like to find some way to guarantee it does not freeze because that would be bad okay we're on the third layer and it looks like we're still digging through ice there's that crab running around I'd really like to be able to capture that. Maybe I can let's do a carpenter's workshop. Make out of ice, of course. Because you know, it's the North Pole. Everything's made out of ice. Mm. Let's make an animal trap out of that. I'm not sure if crabs are to be bigger, or I wonder if they're small enough to be cap captured in animal traps because I'm not exactly sure how these things work and I don't have a carpenter set up apparently. No, I do. What's he doing? Carpentry? Yes. Oh, does it make wooden animal trap? What are you doing, man? Um. Maybe you need trapping to do this, which is kind of weird, I think. But I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Okay, there he goes. Let's see how our miners are doing. They're starting on the main stairwell. I'm liking the colors that we're getting. What's this? What are you doing? No job. What? Oh, I probably set something up wrong. Oh, what's going on here? What happened? Ice downward server. It just. What the heck happened? Come on now. Uh, crap. Yes. Nice. 
Huh. Um, apparently doing stairs down just leaves the bottom open. I might have, I guess I'm going to have to just keep channeling down and do a spiral type thing. Huh. That's kind of weird. Now we're going to have this weird um, empty space behind our stairs, or our ramp. Okay, which way do I want to do this? I'm probably going to have it um, spiral this way. I don't think that's even. Let's see. Come down here. One space. Come in. Yeah. Don't have that even. Okay. I guess I'll have to test the stairs later and see what is going on there. Huh. I guess it's okay though. We'll, we'll work with it. Hopefully no one goes tumbling down this stairs right there. Okay, they probably can't get down there. This is becoming much more trouble than it needs to be. I assume people, yeah, they're gonna be, the masons come down there. Now is it possible to capture this animal in a trap which oh, there, I'm going to need a building to do this oh, I don't remember which building it, it requires however it's either the kennels or the butchers? I think it's the kennels kennels just to catch a crab come on now okay Well, we'll get that going. I just want to capture a crab. And I'm pretty sure I broke this ramp I was making, so that kind of messes up all my plans. Um, that kind of sucks. Let's see. Okay, we'll do something like this then. Okay, we'll come down here, go for this way, start channeling up. This is probably the messiest fortress I've ever started out with. Okay, let's see what that does. Hopefully nothing that makes it impossible to get down any farther. Okay. Okay, I'm back after uh, recording software cut out and I didn't realize it. So I went on for probably 
at least another 10 minutes before I realize that so I'm gonna have to go through here and show you what I did since that cut out it looks like when it cut out they started digging through here and we managed to start getting into stone and I started working on a storage space here for booze and then we got down to the bedrooms where you can see I've set up some beds here and that should be enough bedrooms for everyone to have we have with us right now and we also struck some lemonite and hematite I think yes and all that chalk and bituminous coal and ligand is here too so we can probably start a steel industry if we wanted to and I started making doors I think I took down the kennels that crab walked off screen and now there's an osprey here but I believe that's only yeah just osprey but um yeah, after I um, finish those doors, I'm going to start working on a dining room. I would like to get that carpenter doing something, but we need to save our logs for beds. What else could he do? Um, I guess we'll give him masonry as well. Stone detailing. We could always use more of that. Oh, I can also put up that other statue I made. I um made a couple statues. This is also made out of chalk. A slug. Please tell me it means something at least. No, we just made the most random statues possible to commem commem commemorate our first ever fortress in the frozen wastelands. We got a slug and a statue of I think a weasel and how come I can't look at it there is a way to look at it yeah okay chalk statue of a weasel chalk statue of a slug yep that represents our fortress and we are almost done with that storage room, and then I will work on making the workshop area. It looks like some people have already started climbing bedrooms, so hopefully soon we get those doors done, because I'm, I'm betting there's a terrible draft coming down this ramp I had to make. You know, so. But, um. Yeah, I could probably make another Mason's workshop up here. Workshop up here. And we can start moving stuff down, make sure it doesn't freeze, and then we all die. Because, you know, that wouldn't be fun. Well, I guess it would be fun in a way, but not the kind of fun I want to have yet. There's more fun to be had in other ways. Yes, and now we shall fill this area with food. We'll also make a dining area. How big do I want to make this? I think I want to make it, there'll be empty space on this side, then chairs, tables, tables, chairs, space. Okay, so we can cut this off here. How many does that give us? Because oh, I want to space on the top and bottom as well. Um, one, two, three, six. I need I need the room to be longer. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I'm also going to cut this off because we don't need that big of a dining room yet. He's going to start working on that right away. People bringing in seeds already. Indoors. 
course made of chalk, so... Yeah, if we just keep finding chalk, our whole fortress is going to be made of white chalk and ice, so we'll blend right in. Oh yeah, they got this finished. We can probably start making making blocks. We can use those for making buildings. And a wall around the fortress. Why aren't our miners working on this other crap that's in the way? I guess just because mainly they're all sleeping. Huh. Yeah, it looks good so far. Albatross now. It's flying. Oh, it's flying around here now. So far, nothing we can't handle with just our hammermen and an axemen and miners. Oh, the horse is already getting hungry. I don't think they're going to make it because I would have to start digging down right away to get that to the caverns and then I have to seal off the caverns. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should go for that. I'm going to set up my workshops. It was storage workshops here. There's going to be dining hall, so yeah, workshops here. And I'm probably going to from the workshop area, we're going to have stairs going down into the lower levels. I may have to set up a military post there as well in case something comes up from the caverns. Um, sounds like a plan. Let's just keep digging down pretty far. See where that takes us. Um, let's see, am I forgetting anything? Hopefully my dwarves can start. What is that? It's probably another bird. Yes, yeah, the albatross. Okay. I didn't know what it was at first. Block store. Carpenter. Okay. Snowstorms. I haven't cleared out all the main travelways yet, but we'll get to it eventually. There's some more water that's leaking in. I guess as soon as you get below this Z level, ice will melt, so we'll have to keep it to these top few here. Worth of class. Oh, we're hitting Jet, M Micah, Micah Klein. Worth of class. Slate. I have a feeling we're getting ready to hit a cavern layer. It's, it's foul right. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's check what that does. I'm I'm thinking it's something like nickel along those lines. Zinc, yeah, something like that. One of those that you can only use for furniture and decoration. Slate. No, we didn't hit uh any caverns there. Oops, I am in the wrong menu. want to keep digging down here. Yeah, we'll have to keep digging down until we hit a cavern layer, because I would like to keep those horses. 
And now that we're digging down deep, I'm going to have to start setting hotkeys to jump up to the surface. How do I do that? I've, it's been a while since I played this. I've been putting off playing this game until I got the, a good idea to start doing a let's play. Hockey's gate. Actually, it might already be set up that way. Let's test it. Let's go down here. Oh yeah, okay. I already got one that will jump me up. Just I need one to jump down though. Let's let's just see what keeps what we dig up here. Shell opal. Still looks like it's slate. Oh, what's this? Granite, cobalite. Yeah, we're getting closer to cavern layers. More mica. Microcline. A great more stone that's the same color as ice. Just what we needed. We still haven't hit a cavern layer. Okay, I'll go down a little bit deeper. We're gonna hit one soon and now oh, we're hitting silver now. I would like to get a smelting thing going on, but lack of trees means lack of charcoal, so we're going to have to probably dig down until we reach the lava layer. These guys are digging too fast. I guess it's alright. More silver. And we still have a head of cavern layer. Hmm, we're probably under it now. I wouldn't be surprised, because usually you hit it within non Z levels of where you start, so. In my experiences, anyway, so. That's usually what happens to me. So. Also, I would like to get these animals inside so. I can at least keep the turkeys. How many I have four? I'm gonna need. I'm still making blocks and doors. I'm gonna make um. I don't remember what they're called. Things for them to lay eggs in. Nest boxes. What's this guy doing? Yeah, he's going down there. I'm going to probably. You know, these are workshops are gonna be, so I should probably start setting those up now. We're going to have probably be something like this where you can go out in this hallway. Oops. You can also go out this way, maybe. We can start moving our workshops down here because I'm kind of worried about having everyone up here. I should set a meeting hall down here too so the animals can go down here and starve to death down here and not up there. I want this to be a meeting area. And we'll come up here. Well, we still don't have a place to store all those items. Well, it looks like the animals are moving down anyway, so that's good. Marble. Yeah, we're definitely getting lower than a cavern layer. I'm probably just digging straight through a, one of those giant pillars that can be throughout the cavern, so. I might actually be lucky, lucky in doing that. Maybe we could just dig straight down to the lava layer. But that doesn't solve our problem of starving livestock. But that, you know, I, d I didn't ask to have the horses with me, but you know, I would like to be able to have horses for some reason. What is that? Oh, it looks like a walrus. Walrus. Everywhere. Walrus is everywhere. What? I hope they're not aggressive. Um, let's see what they're doing. 
kind of don't like how... Well, yeah, they're not heading straight for us. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. They're just sort of chilling. I would like to capture one, though. Yeah, we should try and set up a zoo filled with walruses, crabs, albatrosses. You dwarves, always taking too deep. But, I mean, I'm just trying to get to a cavern. <laughs> One time I'm trying to get to a cavern, I dig straight past them, probably. I could probably just start expanding outward from... How do I keep pausing this? From these points, but... Hmm. Firelight. I'm pretty sure that's just regular stone. Look, I mean, tetrahedrite... Um, Speller, Galena. I'm hitting everything except a cavern. This is insane, almost. Okay, we'll dig down a little bit more, but if we don't find a cavern, I'm going to eat the horses. I mean, um, dig outwards for cavern, see if we can save the horses. Yeah. Walruses walking around. Hmm. Okay, we already got the workshop area set up, so we're going to need masons. We're going to make that out of. Where's my blocks? Chalk blocks. Um. Are there any still yet? Probably not. Carpenter's workshop for the beds. We can make it out of chalk blocks. What else are we going to need to start out with? Um, I'm just trying to go through here with the basics to survive. Um, probably craft door. Yeah. Craft door and another masons. Chalk blocks and masons. Since we have two masons, we can get double time work on that. And okay, we didn't run into a cavern that way, but we dug through plenty of Z levels, so I'm sure there's one through there somewhere. The problem is we just gotta find it. But I I don't think the horses are gonna make it. I mean, even if we could find the cavern in that amount of time, it is probably gonna be filled with water. And then we're gonna have to go down there if it's not filled up with water and clear out an area with walls and make and hoping spiders don't crawl over the walls or something like that. I'm pretty sure they can do that. Well, maybe they can't. I, I'm going to assume they can. I just don't want seeing giant spiders crawling over the walls up into my fortress. I'm sure someone out there would like to see that, but I, I don't really want to see something like that right now. Maybe if we had something to fight them off with, that would be fun, but not right now. So I, I don't think the horses are going to make it. Sorry, horses. You will be missed. I don't need a door there yet. Setting up some more bedrooms. Soon we can set up the cabinets and coffers, if you want to call them that. I just like to call them chests. And where? What are we working on up here? Door and a throne. We can remove this one. Let's remove everything up here. I'm going to save the wagon until we get the storage spaces set up, which I believe is going to be here. Let's... Wait, how do you do um, pathing? I don't want people trying to path into that area there where the ramp messed up. Okay, um, 
I believe. I want to say it was under zones, but. I feel like there's another option for it. No. I f yeah, I feel like there's another option here where you can actually go straight to that. What is it? Hmm. I'm not remembering where it was. Hold on, let me, f let me find this out. Okay, it was designa under designations. It was, you can set much traffic area. So I want to set this restricted. Set that right there. Probably leave that out. That should keep people from doing something dumb like running over there and falling in. Which I don't see why they would shouldn't should I don't see why they can't go in there, but I assume it has something to do with physics. So let's continue on. We were going to what were we doing? We're taking down some of the stuff up here. Setting up storage, that's what it was. Because I need storage to be in this area. These are going to be some cold toys and instruments and crafts. It'd be sucked to have to carry those around, but... Okay, I think I hit an extra button and I count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it looks about right. And that doesn't look right. What did I what have I done? Okay, that looks right. But I probably want it. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's make it a little bit bigger. I want these to be even. Okay. Yeah, and here we're going to start storing things like crafts. Uh, pretty much just all of our trade goods and finished goods, so they will be close to the trade depot where they'll just be taken right up here and went to be traded. And um, they'll be close to workshops, so finished goods can travel straight up to them. And if there's any raw goods up here, they can go straight down to the workshops. And it shouldn't be too much trouble moving them around. And then right under that, we're going to have food, so we can probably start setting up our food workshops up here if we wanted to as well, or we can set them up down here. And then down here is bedrooms. And hopefully down here we'll get some good things mined and brought up to us. But since we didn't have, hit a cavern layer, I find that sort of like a mixed blessing, because without that cavern, those cavern layers we can't make plants, but also without the cavern layers we don't have that drop in FPS and there's no chance of any forgotten beasts coming up in there. So I'm going to have to probably keep that as like a contingency plan if food starts getting dangerously low I'm going to have to do a mad scramble for a cavern layer and hopefully well okay yeah I should probably definitely start looking for a cavern layer I'm going to need the farmland so let's see where the let's start digging out here we'll just send out little exploratory paths and hopefully we end up hitting something before we all start dying of hunger because we don't have anywhere to plant food. Which reminds me, I need to set up nest boxes for our hens so they can actually start laying eggs so we can start eating those. And what is it called? Is, oh, is it under crafts? Yeah, we're going to need four nest boxes. So you can probably start working on those. And who is our stone crafter? He's constructing a building. Oh, he's constructing a door. 
Whoa. Why couldn't they? What happened? I mean, I see that they took apart that building, but what? Oh, the blocks were taken out of the building, so okay, they lost they lost track of the item. Okay, that makes sense. So got, um, that was a mason, so we can set that up again with the blocks. Yeah, we can get resume building there. Horses are probably going to starve to death. We should probably set up a butcher shop soon. Probably going to start setting up those kind of those kind of things here. What does a butcher's workshop? What blocks does it block? If you want to say it that way. Okay, it doesn't block downwards. That's what I was. <coughs> excuse me, wondering. Okay, we got another mason's workshop set up. What's the one on surface doing? One more throne, and then we can take it apart. And he's taking apart the carpenter's workshop, and there are more. Walruses are walking around out there still. And. Okay, we're getting out the storage areas. What is. Oh, okay, he's eating it. I thought there was a random crab in our food storage. I was sort of worried there for a second. Now, I was looking for. Masons area because we need more doors or not doors tables and chairs and what are we making up here uh, I believe a throne okay so we need the extra table snowstorm should be fine we're all once he gets done up there we can take that workshop down and maybe I should start setting up a wall around us up here I don't think I have enough blocks though to make it completely surround us and well I could make it a vice that could be pretty good I'll probably want to set up Maybe a, a keep type of thing first. And this is 10. Uh, oh, I'm hitting wrong buttons. If it's an odd number, you can set the middle. Oh, wait. Do I have this right? Looks like it. I think. I'm not sure if I want to get all the masons working on that yet because we're trying to still work on furniture, but then again, defense is more important than having furniture in your bedroom, so. Okay, yeah, maybe I should set up these walls right now.